freaking Labor Day. I slept pretty dang good last night in my new bed. This cot was a million times better. A million times better than the old one. It was out like a light. Slept like a bear in hibernation. The spring action had just absorbed all the all the road bumps while we were sitting here. That extra padding goes a long way, I'm telling you. Give it a 9 out of 10. Don't mind my apples hanging here. It's just what they do. Mini room, right? It's a mini room. You got a little mini room right there. still existed. I just ran in there for first off today. First off. Yeah, 749. You know these things are gonna be good. Figure these might come in handy for second off today, which is a Tamolich or Tamalach. I should probably look up how to pronounce it. The blue pool in Oregon that hardly anybody knows about. Well, that's what I'd like to think, so it seems more cool and mysterious that I'm going to check it out. Apparently the pool is absolutely freezing. Luckily, you can probably tell I'm sweating pretty bad. It's a nice hot day out. From where we are right now, it's about an hour 45 away still. Let's go find this blue pool. It's Labor Day, let's go have some fun. Freaking area closed to entry. Blue pool closed due to fire activity. I'm reading this over just to make sure it's not just the trail. Maybe the pool's still open. Including the closure of blue pool. Dang! This is my mad face. I'm mad. Well, blue pool, I will be back one day to capture you in all your glory with drones and GoPros and every other sophisticated technology works of art you could possibly imagine to make you look awesome and show all your blueness. Why am I walking away? <laughs> got a little got a little out of hand there. Well, that's too bad. Unfortunately, you cannot go explore the pool unless we want to get fined. Um, and uh, punishable by imprisonment, which this whole trip's about freedom and I don't think I really need to go to prison right now. Alrighty, so what is the plan now? All right, we gotta come up with a new plan. Luckily, we are surrounded by tons of beautiful landscapeness. So, uh, actually, first, what is it? <clears throat> this was second off, right? Let's go with a new first off, and that is I need gas. I am literally about to run out. I own a jerry can, but I do not have it with me. I uh, didn't really have any room. When I get back, I'll have the I'll have the roof rack and I'll throw that bad boy up there. Once I get gas, then we can go do something. We made it. We did not run out of gas. Well, I'd reckon that's a little bit too close for comfort, won't you say? Might as well check the oil while I'm here. Halfway in the safe area. Guess I should probably add a little bit to her. Right on the top of the safe. Golden. Right now we are near the Belknap Springs. I remembered that Richard and Verona told me that if I was ever near the Belknap Springs to check out the secret garden. I didn't know exactly where it was and I also don't have any cell data right now. So I ran inside this little convenience store. They told me that it's right down the road about five miles. Take a lefty, then take a righty and a Ralph and a Loose and a Goose. 
I'll be right there. It's like this garden that's out in the middle of the forest that looks like freaking, I don't even know, it's secret. It's apparently really, really awesome. I'm supposed to check it out. Let's go check it out. Thought I was maybe at the wrong place, but I just asked some lady walking her dog, and yes, this is where the secret gardens are. I'm freaking pumped. Gonna need this. All right, Jade, you're all locked up. I'm gonna go check out some secret garden in the woods. Have fun staring at the river. Looks like a small campground right here, too. Nice. Lodge, campground, secret gardens, non-secret gardens out here, too. Off into the wilderness we go. Thank you. The nice old gentleman just told me if I go this way, there's a big loop that goes through the forest, a little bit longer of a hike. Because we're a little crunched on time, this way will take you straight to the gardens, pretty much right around the corner. She's a boiling. That is a hot spring right there. I want to say back in April, May time frame, I was out in this area and I went to the Cougar Hot Springs. That was so cool. It was like a hot tub out in the middle of the woods. I had this place in mind when I was out here last, but I just didn't end up getting to it. Remember though that it was nearby and that we could totally check it out if we had the time. So I'm pretty pumped that we're actually doing it now. Been walking for about five minutes now. Oh man. I think I found the secret garden. That's so crazy that it's just out in the woods like this. Oh, this is, this is something new for me to vlog. Oh man, this is awesome. Wow. Indeed, this place was botanical. That's the only gardening term I can think of. Botanical garden, right? It's probably built by our ancient ancestors. We're gonna head a couple hundred yards back out in the woods and we're just gonna build this crazy awesome botanical garden, all right? Call her, call her a day. How you doing, Mr. Beer? Do you want a hug? How about a high five? There you go, buddy. Take care. See you later. You know, just because we didn't get to see the blue pool today, doesn't mean I don't get to wear the goggles. I found somewhere to camp, and I think I'm gonna rock these all night. I, uh, I mean, they're fogging up quite a bit, but I uh, feel like I might sleep better in them. I mean, how do you know if you never tried it? I don't have sleep apnea or nothing, but I mean, if I did, it might help. I ended up heading a little west. I'm near Eugene, Oregon now. I think I have a game plan for tomorrow, but we'll see. There's really nothing for sure when you're on the road, you know? So, you do, you do what you can. That's pretty much all you can do. Wow, these things are really fogging up, aren't they? <laughs> Holy cow, they're really fogging up. I got a supper going. I'm cooking uh, summer sausage and eggs again. I was just craving it. I mean, I, I can't help it. It's like my new banana pancakes. Before I let you guys go tonight, I have three very special thank yous. I am blessed to say I have three new Patreon pledges today, and those are Neil Norwood, Happy Go Holly, and Dan Bernard, or Bernard, or Bernard. Thank you guys so much for your support. I really appreciate it. Wranglers, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. We'll see what we get into tomorrow. I'll see you then. And I'm back, doing the dance, with the goggles on my face. And I can't stop dancing, cause I love to freaking dance. Dang, these things are really fogging up, aren't they?